Recently, Dave, a network connection of mine, reached out to me to see if I could help his team on their continuous improvement journey. Now, his wife had worked with me at Armstrong World Industries many years before, and she had recommended me to Dave based on my approach to facilitating Kaizen events. So, a week later, I visited the factory, which created metal ingots for the aerospace industry. Now, tools often went missing in the workspace, which led to low productivity and increased safety risk. So Dave wanted to strengthen their 5S efforts with the Kaizen to see if we could keep the tools where they needed to be and make sure people were more productive and safe than they had been. We scheduled the event for many weeks later in order to get leadership prepared for what was going to be their first Kaizen event in many years. In the meantime, I got the required safety training for working in a plant such as that. Now, a few days before the event, Dave called me at home and told me he had contracted COVID. I asked him if he wanted to postpone the Kaizen event, and he said, no way, this is way too important. So, on the weekend, I picked up the supplies for the Kaizen event in his driveway. Dave said he could participate day one via Zoom, and another team member would act as leader. Then... Because his isolation period would be over, he could join us in person masked up on day two. I have to admit, I was a little concerned about my safety, his safety, and the safety of the rest of the team. Now, Dave prepared in advance with ideas to share so that he could participate fully. So on Sunday, I met Lisa, who was going to fill in as the team leader on day one, and she helped me set up the room. We set up a laptop for Dave so that he could see the team and engage as much as possible during the day. So on the first day, during the kickoff, we shared Dave's story, and he stayed online virtually and engaged the whole time. It's pretty impressive. Now, we had to go out on the factory floor to do our gamble walk and assess our situation, so Dave said he'd wait online. We weren't going to carry the laptop out there with us. So it took about an hour and a half or two hours, and we came back in the room and shared the ideas on post-its. Now, Dave was able to participate as if he was in the room because Lisa wrote his ideas on post-its for him and put them on flip charts on the wall so that everybody could see them. Now it came time to assess all the ideas and everybody looked at the post-its. We brought the laptop with Dave on it to look at the post-its as well. And he was able to prioritize the work as if he was in the room with the rest of the team. Okay, now it was time to start the work. It was kind of later in the afternoon, so Dave couldn't really do that. So he signed off until we were going to come back for the end of day wrap-up. So we did that, and Dave was able to engage and, and, and support the team and show his, his positive engagement for them and encouragement. Now, on day two, Dave arrived. He was all masked up, and he stayed at least six feet away from everybody else. But he was able to engage in the improvement work, albeit kind of had to do it on his own because he needed to be isolated. The team seemed pretty comfortable with his help as long as he maintained his distance. As the week progressed, the team became more comfortable with Dave helping, and by the end of the week, the transformation was pretty amazing and significant. Definitely an improvement for safety and productivity. Now, Dave really earned the respect of the team for giving his all in a very challenging situation. I certainly grew my respect for him as well. He didn't let anything get in the way of the win. I hope you enjoyed this story, gained some insight, and learned something you can use. You'll find many more Kaizen stories on my website, www.pi-partners.com. If you'd like help growing your profits through sustained process improvement, scan the QR code on the screen for a free consultation, and let's start our journey together.